Your dimes, your dollars, your faith in medical science and the unending fight against disease have helped bring about the 100% protection. Shots of the new vaccine stimulate production by the body of billions of protective antibodies which build a wall between children and dread polio. Simple, is it? But behind it all are tests and research and years of development and hope. First from Harvard's Dr. John F. Ender, shown here, and Dr. Thomas H. Weller, and a third associate, Dr. Frederick C. Robbins, came to grow polio viruses for vaccine. Another team found that polio virus circulated earlier research, discovering a tissue, killing the viruses chemically, finally to filter out a safe vaccine, to bring to mankind one of the greater accomplishments in preventive medicine. Last year, extensive field trials were conducted across the nation. A seven and one half million dollar venture paid medical history. 1,830,000 children received dummy shots. The remaining million plus received nothing. Brave little pioneers, each and every one who took the shots. Today at Ann Arbor, Michigan, doctors and scientists and the press assemble for the dramatic, the anxiety. Dr. Salk is here with his wife and their youngsters. Three boys who are among the first evaluating team has reported tests. Vaccine works. It is safe, effective, and potent. Those nine words will live in medical history. All must be aware that no vaccine is 100% effective, but allowing for a small percentage, those who cannot be immunized, listen further to Dr. Salk himself. I can visualize a number of problems but none quite so formidable as the field test, one phase of which is just completed. It should be possible to contemplate the future with a guarded alert and to face each new problem as it arises, trying to learn as we go from each of the experiences that could not have been anticipated. Sharing the triumph is Basil O'Connor, who heads the Polio Foundation. He would have another share, too, a fellow polio fighter who died exactly 10 years ago. The soul of the man who had that dream and who inspired this whole movement is smiling with us. That man was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Before the fort